What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Recently I got myself a drone, I'm so excited. I couldn't help myself so I posted a very short clip of my drone in action onto YouTube the other day with a text reveal, text wipe, whatever you want to call it. Zoom. Okay, for some reason the fan in my Mac is kicked right up. So if this is really noisy, I'm sorry. Hopefully, let's move this microphone away from the computer it. Hopefully it's not too annoying. Basically I decided I'm going to do a quick video to show you how I did it. First thing, I've got a clip of the drone just hovering into place and I've just added a bit of a colour grade onto that to make it look a bit a bit nicer because without it, it's pretty dull. Because like seriously, if I have nothing, this is exactly how I shot it from camera. It's just bland. Anyway, so bit of colour correction, bit of a colour grade, and it looks so much better. The key to this effect is you've got to have something on screen that is passing over it. You've probably seen this effect before, maybe someone's walked by the screen and sort of the text appeared behind them, that sort of thing. But ultimately you need something moving across the screen to actually reveal it. So in this instance it's the Mavic Pro, just as it's descending. And I want some text, so I'm just going to unhide this layer I've already got ready. With the V key, if you press the V key it will basically disable any layer you've got selected. So here's the text, but as it as it stands at the moment, it goes behind the text. It doesn't look great. It does not look great. I want it to essentially be in front of it or seem to be in front of it and it kind of like revealing it. And the way we're going to achieve this is with a draw mask. Open up on the right hand side your effects panel. If you select all and then just type in mask just to make it easy to find and drag a draw mask, not onto the video clip, but actually onto the text layer. And then let go. And like one of my previous videos, you're basically just going to go around and add a control point all around your Mavic Pro. For this effect to look best, particularly on this clip, rather than masking the props, because you can see the kind of like all the propellers here, they kind of blurred as they've been spinning really fast. If you were to actually mask around these propellers, it would kind of look weird because it's almost like as it's moving, nothing is hiding the actual text. So you want to make sure that you're only masking. The, like the hard edges of the Mavic and because it's only at the, the top of the Mavic that kind of like intersects with the text you don't really need to worry about anything below there. I'm going to start with my control points. Now for this particular this particular clip and the shape of the Mavic it's quite easy and because nothing on this side is like intersecting with the text and nothing on this side is intersecting with the text I only really need to mask from about here to here. Now if I just did a straight line it wouldn't look right because some of the drone would be, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be matched properly. So you actually need to match the lines and the contour of the drone, but you only need to do kind of that width. To make it easy, I'm just going to start from the very edge of this arm here, and then I'm just going to click control points along all the edges. You can be as detailed as you want. So most of the edges on the drone are pretty flat, but on the top here, it's kind of got a curve. I could add a like a curve control point, but it's it's not really worth it. So I'm just going to sort of like add a little. V shape, so it almost follows it, but not like 100%. Okay, I'm gonna finish this off. Now we actually need to close the mask, and for me, I figured the best way to do this is actually to go over to the edge of the screen here, and if I zoom out 50%, and then kind of just create a big box around, and it's masked out the text. Now, I want the text to be visible when the drone is this low, which means I need to invert the mask. Any of the text the shape goes over is going to um, make it disappear, kind of like that. So imagine the drone's going up, it's gonna do that. Okay, so there's two ways to do this. There's the quick and dirty method, and there's the, the way you really should be doing a method. And I'm just gonna show you the quick and dirty method first because it's gonna be easier, and most should be able to get on your way once you've seen it. So the quick and dirty method really only works when you've got straight hard edges, the perspective doesn't change, and sort of like the actual shape you're masking doesn't change. This drone here, it just moves up and down, and the perspective doesn't really change, it would kind of work. But if you were sort of like moving the camera at the same time, or if legs were moving, you're trying to mask and move legs, this just wouldn't work out for you. Um, but first off, this is the quick and dirty method. Just to make this easier, I'm just gonna put a marker on the text here with the M key just where it's below the text and I'm going to do the same where it's completely above the text and, com and where it should be covered just so I know sort of like where I'm working between. So I'm going to start off at the end and work my way backwards. I find it a bit easier particularly on this clip. So what you want to do is you want to go to your draw mask on the right hand side and on the transform section if you twirl it down 
you can actually add keyframes on the position. So if you click add here, it'll add a keyframe. And then all you want to do is you want to go back arrow, and you see the drones moved up, and then you just want to reposition this and then just keep doing that all the way. Okay, so here we have it. Now you can already see one problem with this, is although the drones only moved a little bit, the perspective has changed, so the control points no longer match up with the points in the drone. So if I were to play this back, um, if I get rid of this uh, mask so it's not showing, if I play this back, you'll see there's a bit of a gap in places between the drone and the actual text, and it kind of looks a bit weird. Because it's going by quite fast, and because nothing, the gap's not that big of a deal, what you can actually do is select your draw mask, and then on the feather and fall off, you can adjust the feather and fall off in such a way, just like the way, such a way that it kind of blends in. It's still not perfect because this is the quick, the quick way, if you will. But when you play it back, it it kind of works. It works enough unless you were to sort of like pause it. You can kind of see the gap, and you could actually be a bit more precise with this and play a bit more. In fact, if you put it over the drone, you probably find it look less stupid. Play that back. It works enough. If this was going a lot slower. You find that you'd be too obvious and it wouldn't work. Here, I'm not a fan of the overlap and I like doing things properly. So the next way is the proper way and I am just going to, on the right hand side, on the transforms, because all these moves and everything don't really work, but I don't want to delete all the control points. I'm just going to, on the transforms, this little sort of like back arrow is actually reset. And it'll reset all your animations, all your keyframes and everything. So now everything is back to where it was. Whereas before we basically repositioned the mask with the transform, instead of the transform, we're gonna use the control points and then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add keyframe here. And every time in every frame we move like a control point, it will record that keyframe and then play it back properly. This is a lot trickier because the more control points you have, the more faffing it is. So before, when we were like adjusting every single frame, we were just moving the whole mask up, you know, a few pixels, and it was just one change. Whereas now, when I go back one, when I go back one, I need to manually adjust every single control point. Oops. I'm gonna have to adjust every single control point so it matches up with the outside of the drone again. And I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna fast forward it because you really don't wanna watch me doing this, it takes quite some time. I'm done. Now you can see in this last frame, my mask is actually nowhere near the actual outline of the drone because all I need to do is make sure that all the text is disappeared. I don't really need to match anything because nothing's intersecting. If I turn the mask off, you'll actually see that the top of the, the mask is nowhere near the actual text. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. And I play it back. You can see that it works well, but there is still a bit of a, a funky outline to the drone. It's still a lot closer than the last one was. So this is where we go back to the feather and fall off section. And if we just play around with these and just so that it blends and blurs enough that oh, it, it, here we go, I, I'm happy with that I reckon. Obviously this is just one frame, you might find that another frame it doesn't quite blend very well, but it should be enough. So if I play this back, it looks like it's just revealing from behind it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It takes quite a bit of time to do these. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new and you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I bring a new video out every single week and give you suggestions. If there's something you wanna see, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna pick something that I think you guys might benefit from or find interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.